Good morning, it's Monday. I thought I was gonna sleep until like 11 because I went to bed really late. I went to bed at like one o'clock in the morning. Um, I realized the, it's the Coke that I'm drink, drinking. I used to never drink any soda and um, now I have soda with dinner and I realized that is why I can't go to sleep because there's caffeine in soda and, and a lot of sugar. So, not the smartest. I'm about to pay my um, dental board licensing thing. Let's see how much this is. Dental health. So in order to renew my license, it's $662. Okay, so the agenda for today is I'm doing a phone call, um, touching base with the person that I'm making CE courses for and just to figure out like the format they want it. And then after that, I'm doing a um, question and answer virtually with, what is it actually called? It's the College Admission Secrets and the goal is to help students get resources they need to pursue higher education. And I think it's for people who are have a low income background. <laughs> and they're just gonna ask me about my career and how I got started. Fun fact, they've had Gary Whoa. Vee on, so um, that's pretty cool. Who am I compared to Gary Vee? <laughs> but hopefully it's helpful. He says you're our main keynote speaker for medical week and we're super excited. Am I supposed to have a speech ready? My name is Dr. Kong. I'm a cosmetic dentist in California, Costa Mesa, California. Um, just a little bit about me. I was also a professor at USC School of Dentistry for six years. I own my own practice and I'm really active on social media. I like to share a lot about kind of like my personal life and business life um, on like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok and all that. So I'm really happy to be here and I hope you guys find this informative. I knew I wanted to be a dentist like in elementary school and it's just it's a weird thing because my mom's a dentist so I do believe that when you have someone who's in your life that you can like emulate sometimes it's an easier path because you you see them doing it um, dentistry is kind of it's a very male dominated field still but because I saw her doing it I felt like it was totally tangible for me and so I am weird in a way where I really really want to be a dentist ever since the beginning and I get asked all the time did you want to go to med school um, how'd you decide on dentistry it's just I never thought about med school I just thought about dentistry like from the beginning <laughs> what I did is a little unconventional but there is a program at UOP University of the Pacific I did a combined three plus three accelerated program meaning three years of undergrad and then if I get a certain GPA and do get a certain DAT score I'm able to get a guaranteed interview into the dental school at UOP which is also three years traditionally um, undergrad is four years and dental school is four years so I, I shaved two years off and then I graduated at the age of 23 as a dentist if you know that you want to be a dentist, this is pretty much the quickest way you can get through. But there are cons because sometimes you think that you want to be a dentist or you want to be a doctor, you want to go into one of these programs and you start and you're like kind of stuck in the program, right? Because it's like you're going straight through. Um, at the end of your undergrad, you may not want to be a dentist anymore. So then you're gonna have to change gears and you ended up going to this one school for this one accelerated program when you could have gone to a different school where you might have had a better experience or may have been a better fit for you in general. One of the things that I would say with finishing school so quickly is that you don't have the opportunity or there's just not as much time to enjoy the college experience um, like joining a frat or a sorority if you want to do that there's not as there's not as much time to do things like that if you want to study abroad which is something that i wouldn't say that i regret but if i were to go back to college i would definitely have loved to do that but i was just so busy every summer um, just trying to finish all my requirements to get into dental school 
So definitely pros and cons. When I was in high school, I didn't do anything in particular that would have made me a better dentist in the future. So what I did in high school was pretty traditional in terms of like, I wanted to take the best classes that I could, um, like the highest classes and do the best that I could, get the best grades. And it by no means was I like a straight A student. I really struggled in certain classes like um, chemistry. Chemistry was really hard for me. And when you're going into medical or dental sciences, it's really heavy in science. So I would say that you shouldn't really doom yourself if you're particularly bad at one subject. It's always something that you could study really well and get through. You don't have to be a straight A student. And in the high school level, just do the best that you can. Um, try to be a diverse person. Like I did tennis, I did speech and debate, I did all these other things that really don't help me that much in dentistry. But I think be, being a diverse individual at the end of the line, once you become a dentist, is really important so that you can communicate with patients and you can have that connection with patients. In the end of the day, the patient is the whole reason you became a doctor. It's like you want to take care of them. We just ate dinner with Charles. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's out now, but we're watching this show called The Dragon Prince. It's a cartoon. There's nothing good on Netflix right now. So, right? Nope. So I just decided to watch this cartoon because I, I tend to like cartoons, especially when there's like magic involved. You were so great earlier. I told you why though. Me? No, I would be cranky too. Staffing is always hard. Huh? Especially when the people bother you or the people you depend on to make money. Yeah. I mean, I just think that people lack courtesy in general well, i don't think she cares That's the she would do. but still it's a professional courtesy it doesn't matter if you care or not I agree. do you guys like my plant <laughs> i'm very into this plant i'm i'm 100 percent into this plant yeah. right byron yeah you're really into it yeah i think it really jazzes up our room jazz. Jazz. another fun day being a practice owner i'm pooped we had a flood I had to replace some things and it was not cheap, but I feel good knowing that it's been taken care of and I can go home and relax instead of thinking about it all night. Um, yeah, I love doing dentistry. Like, <laughs> dentistry is the fun part. This other stuff, I don't know, sometimes I'm just like, can't it just be easy? Morning, it's Thursday, my day off. And just to give you guys an update as to what has been happening with the vacuum compressor. So the vacuum compressor was like totally leaking. The landlord called me yesterday and apparently the suite next door, they had put all new flooring into. <laughs> um, they had to take, they were gonna have to take up all the flooring and replace it. And they've also noticed that there's a little bit of mold in there. So um, he is telling me that if they have mold, I probably have mold and to get on it right away because nobody wants to deal with that. So I have to get on the phone with TDIC this morning and file a claim. And uh, I've never done that before, so. We'll have to figure it out, huh? <laughs> and yeah, this is gonna be a big ordeal. I may have to shut down the practice for a couple, I don't know how long, because um, the process of doing it properly, and yes, we do want to do this properly because mold is no joke, um, is like, we have to probably take down the drywall, probably take out some of the cabinets. Um, they have to do some thing called remediation, I think, and then test everything to see about the mold and how far it extends. And um, after that, I guess I'll know a little bit better, but right now I have no clue, so I'm calling TDIC. By the way, when you have a dental practice, you do have to get all these insurances. So like, you get business liability insurance, you get workman's comp, you get this uh, commercial property, insurance or whatever i think that's the part that's going to cover me we'll see i am nervous because this is going to be super super expensive um it's 
not something that I want to do, but it's something I have to do. And I have to do it in a timely fashion.